We do have snow squalls today. One really nice band I'm hoping is just gonna form and kind of plow through uh, Massachusetts and I'm gonna be able to inter intercept it uh, really close to home just because, you know, these things are kind of widespread like you'd see in a summertime squall line. You look what was just happened in Albany. Albany just gusted to 58 miles per hour. Uh, which is quite impressive, um, and that's from that's from as the snow squall moved through. So um, I would not say exactly do severe thunderstorm warnings, but it definitely has some some like summertime esque characteristics to it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the mall. We're gonna be chasing. Uh, it looks wild. We'll be there in a few hours. We are snow squall intercepting, and this is a snow microburst. See how it fans out? That's a legit snow microburst we have going on. Uh, and see, it has a legitimate CB on it. Overshooting top anvil cloud. So absolutely convective, no question about it. Uh, main show is probably still a half hour, hour back. Uh, we're gonna be staying up for it. I can't believe the wind is already this strong. Yeah, that's it right there. I mean, you can even see uh, kind of like the, the, the gray wall, you call it, where you lose the features. That's just, just nuking snow. Insane snow rates in there. And obviously, yeah, I mean, show cloud at times. And obviously we go over the hills. This is looking more towards Worcester. Uh, you know, it's further away because it's oriented uh, northwest to south, or northeast to southwest. But I mean, that's, that's it right there. It's definitely convective. I mean, look at the shape of the cloud. Absolutely convective. According to radar, it's almost here. This was looking like uh, west southwest, I think. Um, this is more northwest, so. I'm using the zoom and vision a little bit. Microburst, I think. See, right in there, I think we have a microburst. I think, I don't know, still microburst? Is it the, I'd say second, but actually the third coming, because we had that one last year where we got to 65. I mean, that could just be light, it could be light. But, I don't know, man. So this wall is here. Wow, it's here. So I hear even stronger winds.
here we go again. I just barely recovered from the first one and we have another snow squall bearing down right now. Let's go check it out. Wow, this one might be better. I don't know, man. When was it enough, bro? So what we look for in the very strong snow balls is some sort of evident wall feature. And we have it. Snow squall number two of the day. Wow. Okay, now there actually is some wind now. We just have to get into it. Wow, his bellies are really dropping now. Hello, wind. Oh, wow. That did not sound good. That did not sound good. It's a really dry snow. Dude, I know this is heavy enough to get thunder snow. I mean, really. I mean, it's snowing, but. in the first one. Accumulation has begun. Accumulation has begun.
Dude, we're leaking snow. We're leaking snow. We're leaking snow. Might be flirting with severe level winds. These might be flirting with severe level winds. I can't, it is difficult to see the end of the parking lot. I don't know if you guys realize that. It's actually a really good angle I was shooting here earlier. Arrival of February 19th, 2022. I think if we had daylight, it would have been even more epic because I would have been able to see uh, features disappearing a bit better, but still um, a really, really awesome event. And we got hit by two. I mean, two. That's just crazy.